three, two, one. Here we go. Welcome to Ann Hop Real Talk. Today's topic is a Black History moment. Greetings, and thank you so very much for joining us for this moment in Black History. I'm Elisa Young. In 2008, the world watched as we in the United States elected the first black man to the highest office in the land, President Barack Obama. In 2020, the world again watched as we in the United States elected the first woman of color, black and Asian, to the second highest office in the land, Vice President Kamala Harris. Every third Monday in January, we celebrate the birthday of slain civil rights activist, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was propelled to leadership in part because of the actions of Mrs. Rosa Parks. Now, these are some of the more notable figures in black history, and their accomplishments and achievements should be remembered and should be celebrated. Their words and their actions helped to open doors and pave the way for those of us who came behind. We sing their praises, and rightfully so. But what about the unsung heroes of Black history? Unsung heroes, people who do great deeds, but receive little or no recognition for them. For example, before there was a Vice President Kamala Harris, there was a Miss Charlotta Spears Bass, a crusading newspaper editor who was one of the first black women to own and operate a newspaper in the United States. She used that paper to address political and social issues. She later ventured into politics and ran for the office of Vice President of the United States in 1952 on the Progressive Party ticket. There were other African Americans who ran for the office of President of the United States before President Barack Obama. The Reverend Jesse Jackson, a name that may be familiar to you, a civil rights leader who marched and served with Dr. King, twice ran for the highest office in the land in 1984 and 1988. Mrs. Shirley Chisholm ran for the office of president in 1972. She was also the first African-American woman elected to Congress 10 years prior to her run. 47 years prior to her run, and almost a century before President Barack Obama made history, Mr. George Edwin Taylor ran for presidency in 1904 with the all-Black Independent Party called the National Liberty Party. Mrs. Rosa Parks was not the only one who refused to give up her seat when asked. Nine months prior, there was a 15-year-old student named Claudette Colvin who challenged the law in Montgomery, Alabama. And Irene Morgan Kirkledy did the same in the state of Virginia. Prior to Dr. King, Mr. James Meredith worked tirelessly to call attention to racism and continued voter discrimination in the South. He also wanted to desegregate the University of Mississippi. In his efforts, he staged what he called the March Against Fear. He wanted to march from Memphis to Mississippi. It started off as a solitary walk and shortly after it began, he was shot multiple times by a white gunman and had to be hospitalized. But the fire was lit, and thanks to other civil rights activists, including the budding Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the march continued and grew to over 15,000 people. This is just a little bit of information about a few of us, those unsung heroes in Black history. There are countless others who've had an impact on our lives, and we need to know their stories of bravery and of their sacrifice. You see, they too paid a great price, and they deserve to be remembered. So this Black History, I ask you to consider to go a little deeper than the stories that you already know or what you already think you know. And let's look up some of those unsung heroes in Black history. And when you do, tell someone else about what you've learned. 
we'll all be the better for it. Happy Black History Month and happy learning. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon for our next and hop real talk.